system three, system four. Today, Mornings in the Lab, we're talking systems to change your life. God, I'm just packed with energy this morning. I went for a big run, but most importantly, Nation, oh my goodness. Woo! Almost a thousand of you showed up for the show to us yesterday, and I just got to pause and say, oh, thank you. Thanks for tuning into the biggest morning show on the planet. We started this little airplane months ago, and we keep just flying through the sky, and we're turning this airplane into a rocket ship. Mornings in the lab, the only morning show to help you guys get your day started. We drop 8 o'clock Eastern time with myself, Keith, John, Marty, producer Christina Flynn. And hey, by the way, this is an explicit show. Yeah. So if you got kids in the room, you might want to get them out of the room. And if you got your husband in the room, you might want to get them out of the room. Uh, anyways, listen, we got a guest here today, Dr. Monica Rashivi, otherwise known as Dr. Monica. No, we're not calling him on Mon today. It's Dr. Monica in the lab. We're talking systems. The systems that changed my life with Dr. Monica Rashivi. I remember my friends up on the stage because I want to talk about who I want to talk about yesterday's big show. 880, some odd thousand, almost a thousand people showed up for the show yesterday, Christine Flynn. It's just no just the tip yet. of the iceberg, what? baby. It's just the tip of the yeah. iceberg, man. This is worth this is the yes. shit nobody can see. Oh, I love it, Johnny Anderson. Good morning, brother. Good to see you here today. John's rocking a beautiful black hat with a nice stripe down the middle, nice black glasses, all on black on black. Old Uncle Keith here is wearing the old black toque, wearing anything below my head because I'm in camouflage. So there you go. We've got Christina all in black. Christina's all in black. And of course, C. Marty Fit, the handsome C. Marty Fit today. Coming in with the grace. grace. Is that gray or I was going to say, is that rouge? I oh. can't quite tell the color. Look at that. What do you I got, ain't never, I ain't never wore rouge in my life. I don't even know what that is. Man, man. that's <laughs> rouge. Man, you got to get some rouge going, baby. That's that's a luxury color right there. That sounds bougie. That sounds too that's bougie. That's a luxury me, color, bro. That's a Rolex color right there. Uh, there you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Never mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> we got Marty all reconfigured here, accepting the fact that he's wearing rouge. I don't, Johnny, I don't know how you get rouge out of gray. Is- I'm sitting there. I can't quite tell if there's a slight <laughs> underlying color to it. I can see the gray, but at very first, I thought I saw a different color, a color mixed in there. It could be just the fact that, <laughs> could just be the fact that my eyes are getting so jacked up. But yesterday, I lost my phone twice because I put it on a it's a black phone i put it on a black countertop and without my glasses i couldn't see the son of a bitch sitting there that's crazy you my old eyes, my eyes are changing man <laughs> holy shit my eyes can take a whooping by father right. time but, but my so, body's not so you could put chicken breast in your pocket but not your phone yeah you, know, <laughs> you know be honest brother i most days i don't even fuck a, I put pants on and have pockets i wear my drawers all day long sometimes i never even put shoes on that's, that's the beautiful never. literally yeah i've never ever once have worn a, a pair of anything with pockets to this show i got drawers on under, underneath the shirt that's it in most days shit the gym is just the next building over there i don't leave the compound so, so why would i put something on with pockets when it's not necessary <laughs> john's one of those guys that trains in the gym in his drawers but he's not one of those people that we talked about here in the lab a couple weeks ago marty and christina that trains in the gym naked that couple that rents out the gym in the in, in, yes. No, you know what? I, I got a fun. I don't know. If it's a fairly long story, but I got a naked. The one time I'm training <laughs> naked, I'm doing pull ups, Hold and on. the fucking pull up bar breaks <laughs> off the wall. Hold on a second here. Did you just say? Hold butt on. naked. Marty, Marty, did we hear him correctly? Did he, did Anderson just say when I was doing pull ups, butt naked? Butt naked, one hundred percent. Yeah. You didn't raise that when we brought up the Brazilian naked couple conversation 
Yeah, you just left I, that I, off the you table. Did, you, you didn't say anything. Well, it just it did wasn't really applicable. I was kicking ass. How was it not applicable? What? It's, what it's doing more? Doing What's that? Say, what I missed more it. More applicable. What could be more applicable than you actually training naked? I guess just the fact that it, in my mind it just didn't fit at the moment. There are plenty of times in this show where I'm thinking, man, there's I got some cool shit to say, but I just didn't think it connected at the moment. A lot of okay. times it's a timing. Thing. That's ridiculous. So host Billis here clearly needs to get out of the way of Anderson here, Marty and Tina, because he apparently has stories in the drawers or in the pockets in the plastic bags next to the protein that we may want to hear about. So I, I want to leave. So here's how it happened. If you want to I'll lay it out. Okay. So I'm basically doing, <clears throat> I'm in the other, I'm in the, the gym and I was basically, I'm, I'm doing a little workout. The wife's basically, cause the gym is connected to the guest house. So she's in there cleaning. I think, shit, I'll do a little, I'll do a little posing, right? Cause I got the mirror set up. <laughs> I'm a bodybuilder, man. I, so it's one of those things where I'm, so I'm doing a few pull-ups to get a good pump on and I'm wearing these shorts that are basically, well, I should say my drawers, they're, they're halfway down to the thigh. I can't really see the upper thigh if I'm getting some good separation. So I dropped the drawers. Now I'm butt naked. And so I pose a little bit and I think I got to get a pump on. So I go over to the pull up bar and I start rocking up pull ups. The goddamn thing breaks off the wall. I am butt naked. Next thing I'm laying on my back with my feet up in the air with a pull up bar on my chest. Terry hears this massive sound. And comes running in there, and she finds me butt naked with the pull-up bar on my chest. Like, she's like, what the fuck are you doing? I said, I don't know. This, I just found myself on the ground with my feet up in the air to pull-up bar on my chest. And I took my drawers off about five minutes ago. I'm trying to connect all the dots myself. <laughs> Terry is a saint. A saint. <laughs> oh, that's, the, that's the tip of the iceberg, I'm telling you. I'm pretty bad, but that's crazy, man. I've never done nothing like that. That's crazy. Oh, man. I I'm suspecting, Marty and Tina, that we're going to have to do a show with Terry. I, I think oh, we actually God. have a week with Terry where we put John like, in the corner and we will remute him. And it's just, it's mornings in a lab with Keith, Marty, Tina, and Terry. And it's just a week of John Anderson stories. I well, think let let's get something straight. Oh, she comes rolling out of that bedroom about 10 a.m. What time is right now? Five. So, so let's we're gonna reach no, three happening. Yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna and, and she gets up early and it's gotta be a real special occasion. So you're gonna have you're gonna have to put something in front of her to get her butt out of bed this time. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start evenings in the lab with Terry Anderson, <laughs> who's gonna tell stories about John to set the day up the next day. Oh man. Good morning, Enzo. I see you here in the morning tuning in for you. What up, good, Zoe? good to see you, brother. I'm happy to hear you here to see you here this morning. And we got John looks at that rock guy from fan. Yeah, he is. It's Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good to see you here this morning. Hey, listen, guys, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, like the channel, comment on the channel. We're the only morning show to help you guys get your day started. Mornings in a lab with Keith and friends. We're all about accountability. We're all about hitting goals. We're all about helping you achieve the biggest, greatest things in your life. And guys, you're here tuning in right now to the morning loop, the first 15 minutes, the unpredictable 15 minutes of the show before we get to the accountability check in in about four minutes. And guys, I, I found a funny story I wanted to share with you guys here. Uh, just put some laughter on the table this morning. Now, this is a couple days old. I'm going to suspect that John knows nothing about it or Marty or Tina. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But something come up in China recently. And Jimmy, I, I got the videos here queued here. So let's just put it on stage and show you guys what has recently been unveiled in the lovely place of China on how they're getting people to go to the zoo. So first of all, I'm not a fan of the zoo, but I just, the, st the story was funny as fuck. So I just had to share it with you. Art Elsa's funny, but what the hell? So anyway, Jimmy, let's rock and roll, man. Let's put this up here. I get the vertical and uh, let's check this out, guys. Check this out. Is that a panda or a dog? <laughs> no. A Chinese zoo has yeah. sparked fury after it yeah. painted dogs black and yeah. white and presented them yeah. as Oh animals. my lord. Yeah. The zoo attempted to disguise the puppies with black yeah. ears, limbs, and with dark circles around their eyes. But visitors became suspicious when the pandas started <laughs> panting in their enclosure. When quizzed, the zoo admitted that they had dyed two chow chows, a type of spitz dog from northern China with a thick coat. Wow. The zoo, however, has denied they misled people as they never claimed the dogs were pandas explaining instead they were panda dogs down. in china nation so that's what so if you go to a zoo and the animal doesn't look like the animal it might not be actually the animal so if you find yourself looking at a horse it looks like it's been spray painted like a zebra it just might be a horse cut like a zebra johnny anderson your thoughts on when you went to north korea johnny did you see anybody painted like or see any animals painted like pandas 
No, definitely not. Definitely not. My first reaction to this is there's a lot of times as Americans, oh, it was made in China. Like we put it down, <laughs> right? Jesus Christ, they're not just trying to fool us. They're trying to fool their own. So I guess we got, we've really, it's okay to feel that way after all, isn't it? That's crazy. Oh, Christina. That's crazy. Do they just think people are fucking stupid? So I will give, so credit where credit is due to the zoo, but they did have a sign up. It was perhaps not in a, it was in an inconspicuous area that suggested and told the patrons that they were actually panda dogs and they were not real pandas. And then I dug a little further into the story and they lost the pandas a couple years earlier. So they figured that they had a, they had an empty enclosure. They would take a couple chow chows and paint them as pandas and make them as panda dogs. But that's Martin. not a thing. <clears throat> well, that, that, a that's, thing. that sign at least reveals the fact that they're bullshitting you. And if you don't read the sign, I guess it's on you now. If they stash that sign <clears throat> someplace, we're never going to find it. There's another little bit of deceit, but at least there was a sign somewhere, which is like the one element to this story that makes it semi understandable when they're being shysters. No, Marty. here's, here's, I was going to say maybe, maybe times are hard. Maybe business is bad. That's what people do when business is bad. They start scamming and lying and doing anything for a quick buck. So that's the only thing I could think of. It's incredible because that's not creative. Don't scam, just I, lean in, lean in. That's not creative. Lean into it, yeah. right? There's a, a there's a virality that could be caused from that of leaning into this idea of like panda dogs, like saying we're not trying to fool you, we're being idiots, and see and have some fun with that. Like from a PR perspective, there was a much better way to go about this where they actually could have gotten the same attention without assuming people were idiots. The fact that we're calling them. Panda dogs. We're using that term on the show. We're legitimizing this whole idea that there are panda dogs that now exist in the world in China. Take your dog, paint it a different color, and call it whatever you want to call it. And I love watching Marty's expression right now. But people paint their dogs all the time. People dye their dogs. So yes. the fact that they dyed the dogs is not unusual, and it's not like uncouth or anything. So just roll with that. Yeah. Johnny, have you, ever dyed your dog? have you ever dyed your dog before? No, not even close. We basically will put, we'll basically put a hat on him. Oh, I'd say him because he's the only one that the boy will accept that the female is shakes it right off of and like for Santa. So we'll get some pictures with the hat on. That's about as good as we're going. <laughs> <clears throat> so next time you go to a zoo nation, check the sign because it might not be what you really think it is. You're looking at a panda. It might be a panda dog. All right. <laughs> and next time you go to the zoo, you got to keep them accountable. Just keep them accountable to what's truth or what's not truth. Here's the accountability check-in. Johnny's going to go for a break. Marty's going for a break. Tina's going for a break. We're going to come back in a minute with Dr. Monica. We're going to get to know her in the center stage. But, hey, let's get into this.